Hey guys, it's Chris, and we're back with the old Amiga 2000 number four. And I saw your comments on how this board was in here crooked as a politician. Woo! Because there's a big old bend right here. You could uh, probably stick an HDMI through. Nope. But it is a little crooked. My camera does fisheye a lot of crap. I'm going to pull this out, and we're going to take a peek. That does put some undue stress on the circuit pathways there and uh, get out of here and can make for a bent board and a bunch of problems cracked traces and everything else under the sun while it looks good it's got a little eh right here could be on this angle I'll go run over it with the car let's make sure the board is flat and yeah and, I mean it gives a little bit and you could pick it up it's got a bow to it look at that but she's uh She's pretty flexible. <laughs> so, so we're gonna get the letter up number 200 out and cut the tape off of this sucker. People ask me, where'd you get all the knives from, Chris? I uh, had a late night binge on the old home shopping network and they had this brainwash episode of Frost Cutlery. And it's a knife company that makes all the knives with these multicolored wood things. She's full tang, ow. And uh, they had a whole bunch of really cool ones. So I just thought, hey, that's kind of neat. Why not? It was relatively inexpensive. This was many, many moon ago. Uh, probably in the 90s. Just kind of use them for various letter opening. The reason uh, for this video isn't about the old bent motherboard here. It's about some switches. So I got some various switches for and another Raspberry Pi. Uh, for the different button combos in the back here. Uh, the best one I found, well, is not this one, is, oh my god, is this one. It was a dollar ninety-nine. And it's a, it's a single, not an on off, it's just the depression button, which is what I'm looking for. I don't know if this one is an on off or a depression. Same thing, single button. You don't want the old click, 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 click kind. So I got a big old fat round one like you're gonna do some nitrous in a car. I got a square one and I got, because I was afraid that both of these would be clickable and stay on, I got one of these uh, kind that would be like a, a button would touch it. I don't know if I'm gonna use this one, but I could rig something up with that. Um, it will go jumper right here that says button. Now there are several ways to wire it up. Standard, little, whatever these connectors are called. I don't know. Comment down below. For like LEDs and I have a whole bag full of them. The, the name is like right there. Can't think of it. This is also going to be available to work on the Amiga 3000. Because it has a Super Denise you'll have to plug the old jumper into Super Denise. This just has the old Skag Agnes here, and let's just put this back in. Man, that is tight. Uh, for first Gibbs, I'm going to use this thing, and the connectors that I'm going to use are like these kind. I don't know what these are called, but I'm just going to grab two of them, and a red one's good. I'm just going to peel all these off. Now, most of these have big old fat connector things, and I'm not going to do anything but just break the wire off, strip it with my tooth, and just stick it through that hole, just for testing purposes. You can be all fancy and solder yours in, which I might do, and there you go. Just got the regular old plug, and then find the wire that I dropped. Strip it with your tooth, stick it in there, I can't see nothing. And I'm not worried about no heat shrinking or nothing. Maybe if I keep it, I will. So we have literally two wires and these two plugs. I don't know which one is which. It doesn't say anything, uh, but I'm ready. So now we're gonna press a button. Do we press and hold? There we go. So we just took a screen capture. Don't know what that did. Screen capture. Am I supposed to press and hold? Press and hold? Ah, there we go. So press once. We have info menu, preferences menu, settings, geometry, sampling. 
Now, test monitor for 50 hertz. So we're going to watch this pop up, and we can just I'm just pressing once here. Press, press, press. Save configuration. Test for 50 hertz support. So I'm going to press and hold. Unable to test source is not 50 hertz. No problem. Virusy, you flipping turd. Get out of here. All right, so we're going to go HDMI mode is DVI compatible. Resolution is auto. Force 50 to 60. Scaling integer auto. This is where we can roll it on out bigger like the old Chinesium. Got a lot of crap for that. We're going to go to scaling. Long hold. We're going to say auto. Integer sharp. Soft. Integer softer. Interpolate. 4 by 3. You saw it got big there. 4 by 3 softer. Full. That's what I want. Full softer, auto, which is the default. So let's take it to full softer. Nobody wants hard. Save config primary, profile Amiga, sub profile Amiga 60 hertz. You press this puppy and you can go 50, 60 hertz pal. 60 hertz, 60 hertz pal. Uh, yeah. If I was in 50 hertz Amiga mode, I would be able to do the 50 hertz uh, button reverse. Okay, uh, can you go back there? Press and long hold. Weird. <coughs> button reverse. Nope. Return info menu. Let's go to preferences menu here. Scan lines on or off. Scan line levels. Swap your aspect. Crop. Uh, teletext deinterlace. Normal deinterlace. Text scaling uneven, 3 to 2 to 4 to 3. Yeah, it does look a little weird. Let's play with that. Even? I don't know what that does. If I break it, I can always do this again. Scan lines off. I don't want that. Let's go to return again. All right, let's go to settings or geometry. I don't know. Settings. Font size. VSync indicator. Genlock mode. Genlock line, speed, blah, buffers, return position, overclock your CPU. That's for the Pi, not the Amiga. We'll return. Let's go to geometry. Here, let me go back. Let's go down here to this interpolate thing. Let's put her back to auto. And I'm going to go down here to, again, geometry. Setup mode, normal. Whoops, dang it. You miss, you're going all the way around like an 8-track tape. You like that song? Want to hear it again? Drive around for a while. I don't know, can you see any of that? Well, that's about as good as I can do. My camera's crooked. I'm just going to go to save configuration here, so when I blow it up, there we go. Now you see it wrote a text file. You can grab your old SD card out there, plop her in a new Ubuntu machine, or equivalent Linux machine, and edit that sucker and do all these things yourself. So let's uh, do nothing and see how long it takes for the... or do I have to? I have to do this, don't I? Return. Alright. So let me set the old uh, overscan mode first. We'll just a little bit more. How about that? 688 by 224. Beautiful. There we go. Shut up, virus -y. Just get out of here. So, clarity, we're still crystal clear. Apparently it's June 15th, 2019 again. There's no battery in this sucker. Let's hit that magic button here. Hold her down. And get the info. Let's see what we got. What's info menu? Source summary. A bunch of hertz, 17 parts per million, I don't know. Interpolate. I don't like that one. Full soft. How about full softer? We're going to save that just to see how it looks. It's rebooting. Guess I got to save it. Nope. Whoa, that. Okay, that's better. So now we got the old better looking thing. It looks a little weird in here. It gets fuzzy, I guess, because this menu. So I'm going to save this configuration here. Boop. Got a lot of pressing going on. We're like. Press a long hold to get out. All right. <coughs> I don't need my button now. So we got our wide, just like the old Chinesium adapter over here that we're not running on, but I could unplug it. Power light's still on. There we go. Put that in DF1 spot. And it looks 
the same. Does it look fuzzy? I don't know. Let's try the not so softer way. 4x3 soft. Save, and then all the way downtown, and return. Boop! This will reboot the pie, apparently, or do something. There's a little green light, like, right here. I can tell when it's doing something. Boop! There it goes. And it's up. Alright, so 4x3 soft. It's a lot clearer. The other way, woo, stretched it out real nice, but it kind of made it a little fuzzy. I thought my old Coke bottles were just fingerprinted up. They weren't. I wiped them on my shirt. Let's run a game. Well, I don't know where R-Type is, so I got R-Type 2. It's got the old professional label on it. Looks a lot better. It's not so, you know, big around here. F1, Unlimited Lives. I need that. Now, hopefully I won't smash into the ground 800 times, and if I do, won't hurt. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Let's go like this. Oh, look at that. Awesome. You can't get me. See that? I press button two. I have this super dude. And then it gives me my laser when it's back on. I need another speed there. Hey, buddy. Oh. Yay. Didn't even die. Isn't that great? All right. So that's our type. And I got to click the mouse to go to the next level instead of the joystick button. Very weird. Let's uh, turn that off before it starts to load. So that's a much more enjoyable experience. I know I was ragging on this because of the resolution, but I didn't have the button hooked up. But that's why this video is being made. And you can go to defaults. If you blow this up so bad and screw it up, you can go back to defaults. Now we're clear. Look at that. Crystal clear. Fonts look good. Don't use that smoother one. When I mean clear, she's stock, Amiga. Let me zoom in on here on the crappy camera here and just let you see that and my camera sucks it might have a fingerprint on the lens let's open up a window here so you can kind of get the old feel now i don't have anything like graphically great on this but look how clear it is crystal clear i can load the magic workbench picture like where it says show magic workbench do you have a graphics board no nope. magic workbench for the amiga uh to show you what it would look like it's a little bit gritty because, you know, it's not HEA and it's not the best resolution, uh, clarity-wise. 16 color, at least, on this. Maybe. Don't know. We'll turn this up to 16 color because, yeah. Do the click for colors. Fixes the palette. Nope, didn't do it. It really slows it down when you put it in 16 color mode. So, yeah, I think it's a static picture. It's 16 color. It's crystal clear, looks pretty nice. This is Magic Workbench, so it looks really good. The clarity is wonderful. I don't have enough horsepower to run this, and uh, but it shows you what this can do. So yeah, this Pi board is doing the same thing as my Chinesium uh, board. If it's gonna be a long-term solution, yeah, we're gonna keep the Pi board in this Amiga 2000 because, you know, I have a lot of them, and. I don't know, it's just easier. I'm going to 3D print a bracket for the back so it's not all wobbling around here. It's, uh, see how it moves a little bit. Maybe I should turn it off when I do that. Crystal clear. We're wide. So, yes, thank you everybody for yelling at me tremendously in the comments about do a follow-up video with the button. I'm going to test a few of these buttons to see which would be best on the 3D printed bracket. It's probably just going to be this one because I already kind of swizzled the wire around. I'll throw some old heat shrink tubing over this or just solder it up and just forget about it. And there's not really going to be a lot of use of it, but it's nice to have in case you need it to crop yourself down when you're playing a game and get the correct aspect ratio for your needs. Straighten this case out. I'm going to go run it over with the Kia and see if I can get it flat and get this sorted so the board's not doing the old arc maneuver and putting any extra stress that I don't feel like repairing anyway but it's a uh, no damage just a little bit of flex wasn't in there for long 20 years anyway thank you for watching and as always hope you learned something